Have you found yourself playing on your iPhone? Maybe you have the Delta emulator and you want to transfer all your save files from your iPhone to, say, the MiU Mini? Well, today we're going to be taking my Pokemon save file from my iPhone, which I'm using the Delta emulator, and we're going to take that save file and toss it right into my MiU Mini to see if that's even possible. So the first step you're going to do is in your Delta emulator, you're going to make an actual save file of your game, not a save state, a save file. And what do I mean by a save file? Well, it's exactly how you would save the game if you're playing it on an actual Game Boy Advance. You make an actual save file. Once you do that, you exit the game, go to the main menu, find the game you want to export the save file, hold and press the game, and this will open up a menu where you will find manage save file. Make sure to click export save file. Now, the next step is up to you. However you choose to send this file to your PC is whatever's easiest. You can email it to yourself, you can save it in an iCloud storage, but for me, the easiest way is to drag and drop onto this mini USB stick that goes right into my phone. So it's as easy as just dragging and dropping onto the USB. So on the MiU Mini, I don't even have a save file yet for Pokemon Sapphire, so that's fine, but just be cautious. These next steps, we are going to be overwriting anything that on the MiU Mini memory card, so if you don't want to lose progress, just back up the file. So the next thing is, let's shut down the MiU Mini and take out the memory card and plug that into the computer, that way we can start the transfer process. The next step is to retrieve your Delta save file. You might have emailed it to yourself, you might have put it on an SD card, however you did it, just make sure you retrieve that file and place it on your desktop. Next, let's go into the Onion SD card. Let's go into the Saves folder, Current Profile, and then the Saves folder once again, where we will be met with two of the Game Boy Advance's cores, and inside these folders is where the Game Boy Advance has all of its saved files. Now, the next step is, since this is a .save file, we're going to be using the GPSP folder as it uses the .save format. However, if you want to transfer this for whatever reason to .srm, I have done a video in the past to show you how to convert that. The link is in the description. But for now, let's stick with the GPSP core. Now, here's where a lot of people run into issue. They would just drag and drop this and then put it back into their MiU Mini and try to start up that save file and it just wouldn't work. Well, the reason it's not working is as follows. So let's go ahead and go back into the Onion root menu, go into ROMs, go into Game Boy Advance, which is where your game is located, and find the game that you saved. For us, it's Pokemon Sapphire. You can see here, my Pokemon Sapphire ROM is named something very different than this save file. And that's where the problem is located. You need to right click on this, rename, copy. You can either press Control C or just right click and copy. Click on the Delta save file, right click, rename and just go ahead and press Control v to paste or once again you can right click and just paste what we just did there is we're making sure that this rom file is the exact same name as this save file now after doing that we can go back into our save folder back into our current profile and then back into saves and then gpsp now we can go ahead and drag and drop I had to replace that because I already had this file in here, but don't worry, you shouldn't do that if you do not have a previous save. But if you do, you might want to back that up. But if not, just dragging and dropping into your save folder will do the trick. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and eject our memory card and put that back into the MiU Mini. Now, the final step is the easiest. After you plug in your card and you turn it on, you might run into this issue where it just picks up where it left off. Just go ahead and quit that by pressing the home button and then the select button and then finding quit RetroArch. Next, hit the select button and refresh all of your ROMs. Now, when you click on the game again, once again, it might take you to where it left off. Don't worry. Once again, press the home button, select button, and just click restart. And once that's done, Let's see if it worked, and there it is. There is the save file from our Delta app. So there you have it. That's how you transfer a save file from your Delta app to your MiU Mini or whatever other device that you might have. I hope this helps someone out there. I saw someone ask this question today and I just wanted to make a video to help them out. 
and who knows, maybe this can help you too. Regardless, thank you so much for watching. I want to thank all of my awesome subscribers. And hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe hit that subscribe button. I cover all things emulation and gaming, and there's going to be a lot more content in the future. So, like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.